That's why I'm targeting men. I'm not targeting men because I have something against women. I target men because without strong men, humanity is doomed. See, it's not about how messed up the women are. It's about you because if you turn yourself upright, they are going to get their mind right. I never say anything bad about black women because I don't blame black women for the way they are. I blame the things that have them the way that they are. You have to include the kinds of brothers that are extremely uh, introverted because of fear. People that stay within themselves because they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of not living up to somebody's standard because they don't have the best of jobs, you know. They don't have the best of educations, you know. They don't have the things that the online community tells them that they need to get a woman. So they sit here in all of this self-doubt eating themselves alive. But all of these problems are really taught to us through a covert social operation from the system. And money ain't gonna make them respect you like that. Education ain't gonna make them respect you like that. That gotta come from in here. And I'm a real man. I'm gonna tell you that it's not always the woman that I think is actually the best looking that I find the most attractive. And y'all gotta get to the point where women respect you, but they gotta respect you as the kind of person that you are. Not for what they think you could give to them. For you. This is a real text message that I received from my 31-year-old daughter the other day, right? And um, I'm going to blow it up so you can see it better. As you can see, it says, hey, dad, I got a question. And whenever you got time, I want you to really help me understand what's going on in today's world and where does it stem from? Basically, why do the black man hate the black woman so much? Scroll down a little bit to the last line. Say, seems like the white incel culture has taken over black spaces. Or maybe I'm wrong and misinformed. Now, there's several things going on in this topic. First of all, let me say this here. When I called my daughter, the first thing she said was, Daddy, I've been around you all my life, obviously. <laughs> she said, I've always seen a diversity of women around you, right? A lot of, you know, white women, you know, Latino women, you know what I'm saying? And so forth. She said, but I've never heard you say anything bad about black women. She said, all of your kids are for black women. You have no children for nobody else, you know, and, and I just need to know, am I seeing something wrong? Because you don't seem like you deal with black women personally, but you don't seem like you have a personal problem with black women either. I'm telling you, man, my daughter's sharp, bro. You know what I'm saying? She, she's a chip off the old block. She peeped it out. So what I told her was, see, first thing first, let me say this here. I never say anything bad about black women because I don't blame black women for the way they are. I blame the things that have them the way that they are. Now, I know a lot of brothers are going to start hollering about accountability, right? And that's a real thing. To some degree, black women have to take responsibility for the way that they are. But likewise, my brothers, to some degree, we are going to have to start taking responsibility for the way that we are. See, the thing goes both ways. And because I can recognize that none of us are quote unquote perfect, right? We all quote unquote have flaws. We all quote unquote have problems or some funny ways. I'm pretty sure I got a lot of funny ways myself. Even though I'm a laid back dude, I, I, I bet dealing with me can be trying at times, right? And I don't see myself as a bad person in no way. I'm very laid back. I'm, I, I believe in a lot of space and freedom, you know, but... I'm sure there are certain things about me that can be kind of harsh at times, right? So we all have this, but I never be, I, I never find myself angry with black women because of these things, because I don't blame them for the way they are. I understand that they are victims of a psychological operation. Secondly, I like black women. It, it, it's, it's not like I have something inside of me that will prohibit me from dealing from dealing with black women other than the fact i just don't get along with them and that's what my daughter observed she she observed that i had all these different women around but yet i never seemed to say anything bad about black women or never seemed to like 
have some kind of thing in me where I just didn't want to talk to black women or look at black women or deal with black women. And she never seen that because that's not how I am. I have no, I have no personal problem with black women. I just recognize that how they are right now is just not for me. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not something I'm going to deal with. I don't like women trying to challenge me behind everything. I don't like women thinking that they got some kind of grounds to question me on everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't do it. Plus, I'm polygynous. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, you don't ask me where I'm poking, you know, where, where my dick is, you know? You don't ask me questions like that. Don't ask me where I'm at, who I'm with. Don't do it. You know how I roll. You know, one thing about me, I don't lie. I tell you how I roll, you know, and that's that. Now, every black woman that I've met, the way I am, they all still mess with me. I talk about this all the time that I, I found it crazy how I would meet some of these sisters and you know, I put my cards on the table, face up, you know, tell them what's going on, what's what. And they would be like, well, I can't deal with that. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way I, I am. I, I'm not gonna put up with that. I'm like, no, no problem. Cool, I'll leave it alone. But my phone constantly ringing. What you doing tonight? What? You know what I'm saying? Can I come see you or can you come over by me? You know what I'm saying? Let, let's kick it, you know? I'm like, but you already told me that that you don't want to deal with this, you know? So what is it? So anyway, I will go over there and sure enough, my dick will end up in their mouth. The whole, whole time I'm, I'm smashing them out, they let me know how they can't put up with me being, being polygynous, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's the weirdest damn thing. And I just never met that in the white girls, you know what I'm saying? The white girls, whether they plan to be in something like that or not, they wouldn't even comment on it. They would just deal with me for as long as we dealt. And when we moved on, we moved on. It was never like they had to constantly let me know where they stand. They, they just, nobody else was like that. The Latin women wasn't like that. Nobody else was like that. Nobody else constantly had to be a front, you know, like like in my face with no kind of opposition. The other girls wasn't like that, you know what I'm saying? Only I only got that energy from black women. And black women change on you so fast, you know what I'm saying? They they will come into something and try to be the best person they can be, and then when they get in, they try to tear it down, you know what I'm saying? Just it just so many things that I seen in them that was just weird, man. You know, like why would you do all this work? Like one of my my, my girls, right? One of my inside girls. I didn't, she was very, she's physically very attractive, but I didn't want her on the inside, man, because certain things about her, I just didn't like, right? But she convinced me to give her a try. She, I mean, she worked on it. I mean, always at me, always coming at me. She chased me into a corner to give her a shot. And I ended up capitulating and gave her a shot. Years go by. Four, five, six, seven, about the seventh year, she started changing. Because by now she realized, okay, Kush has fully accepted me. You know what I'm saying? He cares for me. He wants me here now as much as I want to be here. Then she started trying to change everything. She started trying to take over. She started trying to see how much leverage she had over me, how much power she had over me. This is weird, man. Why be that way? Why would you work all this time to get in on something only to destroy it? it, it see, that kind of stuff makes no sense to me, man. You know, my my mind just can't, can't comprehend that. So, you know, basically I told my daughter that the problems with black women are real. And a lot of black men take that stuff personally instead of understanding that black women are just, they've been, they've been corrupted. You know what I'm saying? It's like a program that's that's bad now. Like, like some kind of software that has a virus in it. They've been corrupted. And to be honest, I have no idea how we clean it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what the... That's why my suggestion is space. Because that's the only thing I can think of is to back up off each other for a while. But on the flip side, because she said, why do the black men seem to hate the black women so much? And then she mentioned this white incel culture. And I had to explain to her, first of all, these people that spew this hatred, they are a minority. Most black men do not think like them. These men are a minority, but they're on social media. So they seem like they're everywhere because they are everywhere in the cyber world. In the real world, she won't get that kind of hatred constantly from black men. That's a cyber thing. That, that's an online thing, you know what I'm saying? But has that incel culture taken over the black community? Yes. I think the incel, you have to include 
the kinds of brothers that are extremely uh, introverted because of fear. People that stay within themselves because they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of not living up to somebody's standards. You know what I'm saying? These are different types of people and these men turn into incels, but they're not incels necessarily because they hate women. They're incels because they are afraid of rejection. They're afraid of, of, of not being adequate enough to get a woman, right? Because they don't have the best of jobs, you know, they don't have the best of educations, you know, they don't have the things that the online community tells them that they need to get a woman. So they sit here in all of this self-doubt, eating themselves alive, you know? Now for some of them, that doubt becomes toxic and then they turn into this like red pill rage type thing, you know? But for a lot of them, they just fall into a state of, of pity. You know, just, just, they fall into a state of depression where they're just really sad because they don't know what to do, you know? And that's because they, they listen to the wrong type of content and it has them believing that everything is the way things are not. And that's about the best way I can say it. So what I was explaining to my daughter was that, you know, I don't think the average black man actually hates black women. In fact, I would bet money on it that that's not the case. But we have a problem in how we deal with each other culturally, right? And you can always tell the relationship by how how people deal with each other, because that's how it's defined. A relationship is defined by how two or more people talk to, behave towards, or deal with each other. So we have a problem in our relationship because we don't talk to each other well. We don't deal with, with, with each other, you know, equitably, you know, fairly, you know, and, and, and we, don't, we don't behave towards each other in what you would consider to be a peaceful, productive manner, you know what I'm saying? So we have problems, but all of these problems are really taught to us through a covert social operation from the system. We are just victims. And again, I'm not victimized because I've never listened to these devils. See, nothing these people say I value, so they, it really has no effect on me. They can have all the PhDs lined up and say something. I, I don't care. If it don't add up, it don't add up. I'm a universal mathematician. If it don't add up, it don't add up. I don't need nobody to do my math for me. I don't need nobody to do my logic. I can do my own logic in my head. And, and if what you're telling me don't add up, it don't add up. You can't just give me an end of a story without showing me no factors that it's built upon. In other words, you can't say, well, the answer is 10. And I say, well, where's the equation? You don't need the equation. The answer is 10. Just assume, and then you start giving me a whole bunch of assumptions. Well, you got to assume this, and then what if this, and then it is believed that this, you know, oh, no, no, I don't do all that, bro. Believe by who? I got to assume based on what? You know, I, I don't do all that. So my point that I'm trying to say is that I'm devil proof because I don't trust these people. These people are not my guards. What? They're not my leaders. What? They're not my authorities in any kind of way. What? I don't see them as being smarter than me. I don't see them as being even smart at all or intelligent at all. They are peons to me. And because I actually believe this, I move differently. Because I don't let nobody tell me who I'm supposed to like and not like, I move differently. And, and, and that's another thing I told my daughter. That another problem that brothers have is that they're scared to like what they like. I've talked about all this on the channel before, man. Scared to like what they like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a real man. I'm going to tell you that it's not always the woman that I think is actually the best looking that I find the most attractive. It just That's just what it is. Sometimes it might not be the woman that's the best looking out the crowd that I find the most attractive. Attraction is an instinct, it's a feeling. The woman that, that does that to you, does that to you. I don't care how pretty another woman is. She might be beautiful, you might look in her face like, oh, that is a beautiful woman, ooh. But she might not be doing it. And then you might see a chick standing you know, over there that's a little chubby, you know what I'm saying? But there's something about the way she moves, something about the way she touch her hair, you know? Something about the way she, you know, her energy. And it might be hitting you. I will go mess with that one, even if I had the chance to mess with the one that I thought was actually very beautiful. I would still mess with the other one. Because I'm going to deal with the one that's hitting me in here. I ain't worrying about the one that's aesthetically pretty or, or beautiful or whatever. Forget all that. I want the one that moves my soul. 
And a lot of men are scared to do that, man. Y'all scared to, to like what you like because you, you think somebody else is going to have something to say about what you like. Man, but nobody got to like what you like but you, bro. Attraction is a total body slash energy combination. It's physical looks mixed with non-physical uh, energy, right? Non-physical attributes. And, and to, that, that mixture together is what you... Is what you feel when you look at a certain woman. But too many brothers are just scared to like what they like, man. Y'all scared. And I, I'm not. So once again, I'm I'm devil proof. You can't you can't hurt me because I like what I like. I'm not like a lot of you dudes, and y'all a lot of y'all dudes are very insecure. This is part of the reason why y'all single. You can't come into a, a relationship. Uh, I shouldn't even say relationship. You can't come into a, a, a engagement, right, with a strange woman, and already you got the energy of possessiveness in uh, all around you. You know, you, you're saying the words of possessiveness. What what your woman can't do and stuff. Nobody wants to hear about what you're saying they can't do, bro. Nobody's trying to hear that. No no man wants no woman telling him what men can't do if they deal with her. No more than no woman wants no man telling telling her. What she can't do is she deals with him. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to hear that. I am my own person. I don't even know you. And you already telling me what I can't do. We, nah, man, you you step off, boo. You step off. So a lot of you dudes make a lot of mistakes. I mean, I can go all over the place with this, bro. I can go all over the place with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? But we got to do better, bro. We got to do better. And we got to understand that our sisters are messed up, but they are messed up because of the same thing that got us messed up. Y'all don't like to admit that we messed up too. That's why I'm targeting men. I'm not targeting men because I have something against women. I target men because without strong men, humanity is doomed. We need strong men to lead. That's why we call them alphas. We need strong men to lead. And not just strong like rah, rah, beat motherfuckers up. You know, I mean strong mentally, strong intellectually, strong in their principles, strong in their morals. I mean, steadfast type dudes, you know, that stand on a square and won't buck. We need men like that. Otherwise, humanity is doomed. I'm not, I'm not pro man or anti woman and none of that stuff, man. I, I do, I do what I do for all of us. Because until the men stand up and and push back on a bull, it's going to continue to go on. The reason why this stuff is out of order is because we have no strong men. Matriarchy don't 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 work. We need a patriarchy, and we need the kind of men that's not only gonna lead, but that's not gonna even play with women like that. Won't be no 50-50. Won't be no 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20, 90, 10, none of that junk. The men are gonna lead, the women are gonna follow, and that's the way it's gonna be. When that man say, boo, I need you to move, she need to ask him how you need me to move, baby. I need you to do this and that and that. Go, and she need to go. No questions asked. And to tell men get to the point where women respect them like that, we do. And money ain't gonna make them respect you like that. Education ain't gonna make them respect you like that. That gotta come from in here. And that's why I'm here trying to give y'all what y'all need in here so that these women, when they get in your presence, they can feel that alpha energy and they already know I got two choices with this dude. Submit to what he's saying or walk my ass on. That's it. Ain't no negotiating. Ain't no negotiating. I don't play that, bro. So until men get back to that place where they understand who they are, that you are actually the highest form, the black man specifically, you are the supreme being. There is no other human being or nothing else on this planet higher than you, black man. Why are you submitting to the will of a woman? See, it's not about how messed up the women are. It's about you because if you turn yourself upright, they are going to get their mind right. They won't have a choice. If you're resonating the energy of a lot, they will get their mind right, bro. They won't have a choice. They respect godly men, bro. And I don't mean religious-wise. Women respect godly men. I'm telling you, I've never had problems with women. Even if it didn't work out, them women are all still cool with me right now. 
they all call me. They don't know if they need me, they can call me. Some of them got married, they still call me. You know what I'm saying? If they got problems in their family, they call me. You know what I'm saying? Because they respect me, man. They respect me. And y'all got to get to the point where women respect you, but they got to respect you as the kind of person that you are. Not for what they think you could give to them. For you. And when you do that, when you rise to that point, everything falls in line automatically. We won't have to worry about what kind of effects feminism have on black women, because it won't matter. Because your your energy is gonna is gonna supersede whatever feminism did to that black woman's mind. Your energy has the power to 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 erase all the damage that feminism did to that woman. But you gotta first erase all the damage that red pill is doing to you. But anyway, man, I've been going on and on for a while. I'm gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? Uh, support the channel, man. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here, brother Kush, aka the Black Elf. Salam.